Hello there Pixel Pushers, it's um, Sadiq Hussain here with another Affinity Photo tutorial, uh, but this time on the iPad. So uh, we have the um, Affinity uh, Photo app here, uh, which of course you can get from the App Store. Um, look out for a particular offer, sometimes they do have a special offer on, and they did recently during Black Friday. But nevertheless, even at full price, it's a really good uh, app, very powerful, uh, almost as powerful as the desktop version. In fact, a little street a secret um, fact here for you. Uh, I've had it from the horse's mouth, so to speak, from staff at Affinity Photo at Serif Software, that the very first Affinity version of Affinity Photo was in fact coded and developed on an early iPad and not on a, a Mac desktop, hence why it was easy for them to um, uh, convert it and port it over to the new um, Apple M1 chips that have only been released a year ago, um, first in laptops and now in desktops as well. Uh, and so um, it works uh, really well, the code and the software really works well on the iPad. In fact, this is a, a relatively old iPad, but on the newer uh, iPad uh, Pros, it, it works really, really efficiently. Okay, let's get into it. So I'm not going to use one of the existing images. I'm going to click on the plus um, symbol on the top uh, right to um, create a new document. And now I'm going to just change the settings to something like a 10 by 8. And, um, but of course you choose what you want, uh, the color profile and so on, landscape or portrait. I'm going to go with landscape. So that'll just open up a blank document. You can just obviously pinch and zoom with your, with your hand, uh, with your fingers um, to, uh, you've got your tools on the left hand side. You've got all your um, studios or palettes as I call them on the right hand side and you've got your personas at the top there so we're in the photo persona at the moment that's what we're going to look at and today we're going to simply look at an adjustment layer and then how to um, mask out that adjustment layer in a given part of uh, the image okay so first of all i'm actually going to import an image from the um, uh, built-in stock photography uh, option so just going to tap into, um, into oh by the way if you're not sure let's just move that out of the way if you're not sure what each of these symbols mean if you've got the little question mark on the bottom right if you just touch and hold that it brings up little labels just to show you because it isn't always obvious because the um uh, uh, the icons are greyed out in many cases but eventually you'll get to know it what what each one of them are okay so we're going to go to the uh, um, stock photography and just type in autumn and pick an image well, let's say we'll we'll pick that one and then just touch and hold and drag because we've got a blank canvas um, and to get rid of each of the uh, studios, you just press the button again and it just um, uh, goes out to the way. Um, and then click on the move tool on top left, the arrow, and obviously resize that as you see fit to fit the canvas that you've got. Okay, I'm happy with that. And then zoom back out again. And then on the right hand side, uh, again, you've got um, uh, different uh, studios and what we want is the adjustment studio, which is about the fifth, sixth one down. So we press that and then you, you basically go through. Do you want a black and white adjustment? Do you want a brightness and contrast um, uh, color balance and so on? We're going to go for curves. And as soon as you press that, uh, and then you've got the uh, the um, uh, the adjustment sensitive context sensitive uh, uh, variables on the bottom now once you've got those at the bottom you can touch the um, studio icon again and that goes out the way and then it leaves you with the the, the context sensitive and you click on the curves um, the, the the graph option and of course you adjust it as you see fit you might want to just reduce the image and just put it over at the top so you can see it and actually don't give it not giving it an s curve really helps the image but you you decide depends obviously on your image let's give it a nice darker color to it 
uh, uh, rendition okay but I don't want that effect to be on the whole image I don't want it to be on for example um, the the, uh, the uh, really red dark red grass so what I want to do is to mask that out so if we go to the layers palette at the top or the layer studio we got the uh, curves adjustment uh, highlighted we go to the um, brush tool on the left hand side and choose the style of brush that you want um, uh, you know change the uh, the brush size and so on uh, size hardness flow accumulation to suit you just click on each one of these and just drag the um, the finger across the screen you'll see the little dial like a like a clock dial uh, going across so we'll just have it quite small and the flow and the accumulation uh, once you've done that click OK and now we want to just get rid of that um, menu item at the top uh, the studio uh, you can zoom in because you are painting onto a an adjustment layer you it's automatically a mask so it paints with black automatically but of course if you wanted to change that to white you can do so black blocks remember white reveals so if I'm now painting with black it will block the effect and the effect was the adjustment uh, which was the boosting of the colors so by doing that and then use your two fingers to um, move the image about it is blocking the effect and of course you can go right in and reduce the size of the of the brush and then just block that effect in that little crevice in between the tree not very effective there but you could uh, fine-tune that okay and that's pretty much done so really all we've done there we've taken an image we've created a blank canvas we've um, found an image that we like from the um, built-in stock photography a studio uh, we picked an autumn image we applied an adjustment layer in this case a curves adjustment really boosted the autumn colors and made it a little bit darker but we didn't want the effect in a given area I chose the ground and then I painted with black because if we go back to the um, the layers uh, studio you can see the curves adjustment and just there you can see a black slither is where I've painted at the bottom so it blocks the uh, the adjustment there we go and if you if you click the top right symbol that basically moves the uh, the tools completely out of the way so that um, you can see the image much better okay and bring them back again Hope you found that useful. Uh, do have a go. Do get the uh, the app. In addition to the app that you might have on your desktop as well, uh, the Affinity Photo app on the iPad, particularly a, a more recent, more powerful iPad, is very, very powerful. And um, and we're just going to begin to explore the, the potential of it in the upcoming videos here on this channel. So do uh, give us a like and any comments or suggestions, anything else that you want to see me cover, uh, but also um, any um, uh, ideas of your own that we could cover in the channel as well. Thank you very much.